This is Andy. This is a 1997 Forerunner, and I have a solution for a problem with long crank times, especially intermittent long crank times, or sometimes it works just great, and then other times your car doesn't start, or your Forerunner doesn't start, and it's just cranking, cranking. It might take five, ten seconds before finally it catches and maybe sputters. And also a similar issue is kind of an erratic idle, where sometimes it's idling fine, and then all of a sudden she starts idling high. So anyway, the issue was on mine was a defective ECT sensor. And so I'll go through kind of the steps of troubleshooting it. Um, I replaced this two days ago and it's been great. This vehicle just starts right up. Turn the key and it starts. What could be better than that? So as I mentioned before, I had this issue. I'm gonna go through the solution. I'll talk about some other things I ended up doing beforehand. Um, so I'm gonna go, this is a, one of my cheaper scan tools and I should be able to read live data here. So let's just see how this works. I am getting live data and I'm gonna look for if it's on this one. Oh, engine coolant temperature. That's the one I want right there. This is the sensor. And what I was seeing before I replaced it was I was, I was went to start the car it was about 50 degrees out and it read minus two and I'm like that's weird and then it kind of was hard to start and then it started and then it um, eventually went up to like 40 or 50 and started climbing and also went to minus two again and the throttle just jumped way up and then once the throttle came back down I looked at the engine cool temperature and it was back into what I would expect you know as the car is warming up so I just went out for a ride in this so that's why I'm at 192 but anyway it would jump up that that would read zero or minus two or, and my idle would go way high way high and then come back down and all of this makes total sense that the whole issue I had was that I had a bad engine coolant temperature sensor and because of that um, it would read zero and it might be warm out and so I'm guessing it was flooding the cylinders with gas. So like I said this has worked great so far. In just a bit I'll show you where that temperature is but I, or the sensor is but again this is the uh, mine broke when I took it out. Engine coolant temperature I'll put a link to it. I use the Denso one um, you know original OEM uh, Toyota equipment. It was only like 30 bucks. I got it on Amazon. Um, but trying to troubleshoot this before looking at this, I did everything. I, I checked to see, hey, is my spark good? I tried squirting in some starter fluid above the mass airflow sensor to see if that made a difference. I was thinking I'm not getting enough fuel pressure. One of the things with, with a Forerunner is when you start the key and just have it on ignition, your fuel pump is not running, where typical ones you might be able to prime. So I thought, okay, well, I wired up some wires to my um, fuel pump, and I had even rigged up a little deal right here so that if I wanted to, I could press this and force my fuel pump to run, um, thinking that I wasn't getting enough fuel pressure. So again, tried a bunch of things. I was, I was gonna go ahead and um, replace my fuel pump and luckily and i'm glad i didn't one of the bolts broke when i was getting ready to do it and i thought oh, i'm just going to wait for sure but again this whole issue was the engine coolant temperature sensor so let me show you where those are and again looking at my live data i guess i'm not reading it now because i stopped it so let's take a look at where this is at so i'll do my best to show this um so it is i'm going to put my finger where that zero is it's right behind here. The connector comes off nice and easy. And again, I apologize. I'm gonna to try to do the best I can. This is the connector going to it. So it's sitting right down here. It's pretty easy to get to. If you just Google, there's a great video that a gentleman did where again, he's pointing where this is at. Um, basically, you just take off the bolts for the um, timing cover. The two on the bottom are the kind of a pain to get to. You're gonna probably have to take off this clamp so you can slide this cover back. And you don't need a lot of room, but it's not too terrible to access, but it's where I've got my finger tapping the wire. That's the location of it. Um, I lost, you know, you might lose maybe a pint of coolant or something like that. Pretty easy, I think I changed it out in 15 or 20 minutes and it fixed all the problems. Since I've changed this a couple days ago, I have not had a single issue with it started. Hit the Cree and it starts within a second. Um, it's been great. So I hope this is helpful. See you online.